I'm sure all of you can guess who is the national organizer. <laughs> the national organizer is one and only. Hey, buzzers, welcome back to Inside Buzz, your go to spot for the juicy scoops and the latest political drama. Today, we are talking about a major shake up that's got everyone talking. Flochi Bambu has just jumped ship from the EFF and landed a huge new gig at the MK party. You won't believe who was there to welcome him in. Let's dive into the details. In a move that's sending shockwaves through the political scene, former EFF Deputy President Floyd Chibambo has made a huge career switch. Just days after his dramatic exit from the EFF, Chibambo has been appointed as the MK Party's new national organizer. And the timing couldn't be more interesting. This all went down on Thursday morning during a high-profile media briefing with none other than former President Jacob Zuma himself in attendance. Talk about a power move. I'm sure all of you can guess who is the national organizer. <laughs> the national organizer is one and only Nico Floyd Shivambu. <laughs> ah, ah. But that's not all. The MK party didn't just roll out the red carpet for Shibambu, they also unveiled their brand new leadership lineup. We are talking about a top 8 plus 22 additional members making up the party's national high command. It's clear they are gearing up for something big and with Shibambu in the mix things are about to get real interesting. So what exactly will Floyd be doing in his new role? Well he's got a full plate to say the least. As the national organizer Shibambu will be responsible for organizing the party structure, developing key organizational documents and guidelines and spearheading political education. Plus he'll be diving deep into policy and research, keeping a close eye on public representatives' governance. Sounds like the MK party is putting their faith in Shibambu to take them to the next level. Thank you very much, uh, Secretary General, and the greetings to the president of Mkondo Esizi party, uh, President Zuma, and the uh, deputy president, uh, Dr. Lope, uh, the Secretary General, Dr. Maseko, the Treasurer General, uh, Commander Menz, the National Chair, Consinat in Tleko, and the Deputy National Chair is Commander Sibiluan, and the DSG is uh, Commander Nomuzi. We are here in the press conference of Mkondo, which is a party, to announce uh, the structures of Mkondo, which is a party. That is the primary purpose, a party which we voluntarily have joined and for correct reasons. Uh, when we were speaking in the other platform, we made a plea for avoiding of mischaracterization of an otherwise correct and revolutionary decision and act to join Mkondo as a party. What President Zuma is doing with Mkondo as a party is what the statement of Mkondo as did in 1961 on the 16th of December to say that now that the liberation movement has been banned, what other platform do we express ourselves? What other instrument do we use to fight for total liberation? There is absolutely no doubt that the liberation movement is no longer existing in the form that it's supposed to do. It has been captured totally. It is directed from elsewhere. And then this is a platform. And what is unique about Mkondo is a pattern. It's a purposeful 
foundational approach and principle is to assemble people who can govern society to come and govern society in South Africa. It's not wishful thinking to say that we have got these ideas of what we're going to do. It's to assemble the best of the best. So if you were to check even with the people that have been identified now, the first consignment that is going to the National Assembly, if you go to check their track record objectively, and not bled by these nonsense of right-wing media platforms, you will accept that the contributions that Air Brian Mulefe did in the public investment corporations, in the in Transnet, in ESCOM, you will appreciate the contributions that Esiabonga Gama did and contributed in a Transnet stable organizations. Whatever can be said, even with uh, the former SARS commissioner, there have been a lot of things which were misled about for a very long time that everyone else who is not a puppet of the establishment is any of the people. That is not the case. And people will think that I'm saying this because I'm on this platform now only. You can check the public statements and writings and articles and even interviews that we did when we came to the realization that for a very long time we misled in terms of our characterization of society. They said they captured because they were no longer in control of key state institutions. The white capitalist establishment was no longer in control and then they said there's a crisis. If there was truly a crisis, why, why is that crisis not there now? Like, can they show us the crisis which they said existed before? So to assemble the best of the best amongst black people to govern society is a best decision. And to associate with that is a best and sound decision. People who can govern, like it's, it's as simple as that. Like, if you say that who amongst ourselves is the best and then you say let's assemble those who can demonstrate that they have got capacity to run otherwise very complex and huge institutions. Who are not going to collaborate with the establishment and switch on electricity on and off and say it's load shedding because there's a crisis of this and that. People who are genuine and real and have never done anything wrong and of course will be criminalized for one reason or another. I agree that we should unite all the progressive forces into common agenda because this thing of small, unviable political parties is not sustainable for the future of black people in South Africa. It's not sustainable at all. We can't, we can't and, and the temptation as well, and I'm not characterizing the EFF, is that when you have got multiple of these, like they end up being fiefdoms of individuals. A IFP, UDM kind of arrangement, what, what is it to achieve with that? When all of us can set aside our, our, our very strong egos and say, I don't have to be a member of parliament. I don't have to be a deputy president. I can come and be led by a collective, like, and be subjected to a collective and be asked to go and organize branches of MKP from scratch and not be a member at a high level. That is the principle that we're dealing with. And that is what we're here for in terms of, and so that there's not even confusion. By the way, we spoke about the unification of all progressive parties with President Zuma last year, October, before the official announcement of Mkondo is a party. And I was amongst those that said that let us go and contest elections as separate political parties. We'll contest each other on the ground, but we'll come back to talk about what do we do moving forward. So the, the attempt for unification is not just an one because there were electoral declines of the EFF and all of those things. 
It's a genuine political discussion which all South Africans must enter into, those who are in favor of the revolution. Because the revolution is the content of what we're standing for. It's not just, no, if it's me, you are betraying me. You know, some people will say, you are betraying me. Where does that enter? I'm, and you don't even once suggest that I'm betraying the revolution. I will never betray the revolution. Because why not? We are not in the business of trying to please each other's egos here. Yeah. We are in the business of building a revolutionary movement that is going to emancipate the black majority and Africans in particular, and we are unapologetic about that. Yes, that is what we stand for. And President Zuma, when he was inducting all of us yesterday, he says that we might be friends or we might think we are friends, but friendship won't apply here. If you do not do these things right, you are going to be taken care of appropriately. Some people were asking me that what is going to happen because in MKP leadership changes every week and all of those things. What if they change? I say like, if I'm removed as national organizer, I'm going to be a member. And if I'm removed as a member, I'm going to be a volunteer and put posters even without the approval of the leadership. I'm not here for opportunistic purposes. And that is what we are all about. I think all of us, all the progressive forces, let's unite and build this movement. There is no dictatorship. There is political discussions. In all the times that we have got to interact with President Zuma, he has the patience to have political and ideological discussions to persuade people about how to move forward. He does not stand to subjectively gain anything out of that. It's not like he's subjectively going to gain anything out of it. He had said that let's unite all the progressive forces so that we can build a solid movement that will take us uh, forward. Otherwise, the other things that are said are not worth responding to. We're going to go to the ground. Let's coexist, all of us, and then let's persuade each other. Let's build the MKP as a party which is going to take over government of South Africa. Thank you very much. And there you have it, Bazos. Floyd Shibambu is making major moves, and we are all here for it. What do you think this means for the future of the MK party and the political landscape in South Africa? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop with the latest buzz. Until next time, stay buzzing.